Got too much clutter on your meeting room table? Maybe you want to take advantage of that shiny new front of room touchscreen you've just had installed. Maybe you want to add some more decoration onto your meeting room table, but you've got a touch console sitting in the middle of it. In this week's episode, I'm going to show you how you can take advantage of your front of room touchscreen to use touchscreen controls. Hey everyone and welcome to this week's episode of Mole Mondays. In this week's episode, I am going to teach you very quickly how you can connect and use your touchscreen front of room display with your Microsoft Teams rooms on Android uh, and actually get rid of your touch console that you have sitting in the middle of your table. Um, now, before we start, I just want to kind of um, go back to talking about installing meeting rooms and, and, and specking out meeting rooms. Usually, uh, once you know a partner or a customer has figured out what type of device they want to add into that meeting room space based on meeting room personas, and we've covered this on episodes earlier to this, uh, do check out the YouTube channel to see them. Um, one of the last questions we usually get asked is, well, what sort of display should we be using in the front of room? Now, of course, um, you know, subsequent questions that come after that are um, which displays are certified by Microsoft. Um, and in actual fact, Microsoft do not certify front of room displays. The only stipulation or the only ask Microsoft make is to ensure that the front of room display supports HDMI CEC. And that's to make sure that the sensors on your Teams Rooms device, the ones that detect human presence, allow the screen to switch off. And when somebody walks into the room, the screens will switch back on again. That's the only stipulation that that they that they effectively really have. Um, but when we look at front of room displays, you can theoretically add anything that you want, any you know, 16 by 9, you know, um, 21 by 9, if you want that front uh, front row experience. But I usually tell customers that you should try and future proof yourselves. Um, and by future proofing, you can do that simply by adding a touchscreen instead of having a standard display, um, you know, kind of uh, on your wall. And if you add a touchscreen, you then have, of course, the ability to be able to use things like whiteboarding and collaboration, you know, with others, uh, even if you're not using it at that moment in time. In the future, if you decide that you did want to, at least you've got a screen that can absolutely do it. Now, if you are using a touchscreen, you then have the advantage to be able to actually control your MTR on Android experience directly from the front of room display. So no need to have, you know, the touch console that sits in the middle of, of the table. Now, nine times out of 10, uh, or should I say 100% of the time, when you do purchase a Microsoft Teams Rooms device, it would always be compute or bar. Um, with a touch console. That's part of the certification process. But if you do uh, with an MTR on Android, if you are using um, a touch screen in the front of room, you can kind of get rid of that touch console that sits in the middle of the table, then giving you more space, especially in small environments, to add things like plants or decorations like you saw during the introduction. So let me show you exactly how you would go and do that. The first thing you want to do is uh, ensure that you have access to the settings um, on uh, Microsoft Teams Rooms console. So that would be an admin user, somebody that knows um, the password. So run over to your uh, touch screen console that sits table. Go ahead, hit the three dots that say more. Uh, and select settings. So let me just bring it up on screen and show you what it looks like. As soon as you hit that settings button, uh, this is the screen that you're given. You're given the about screen, and then of course you've got device settings. Um, you go ahead, hit the device settings button, and then you wanna go ahead and hit the admin settings. At that point, it will ask you for your username and your password. Of course, you wanna uh, enter those credentials in there. Um, by default for most MTR on Android, the password generally is the last six uh, digits of the serial number of that device. Of course, you know, you're supposed to change the default password. So make sure you do that if it's a new device that's being installed. Soon as you've entered those credentials, you are then given a few more options. Um, and the one that we're looking for is the Teams admin settings option. So go ahead, select that. Soon as you've um, selected that one, you are then given the uh, general uh, option. Uh, you select that one and then straight away, right at the top, you see we have front of room display and you want to ensure that enabled touchscreen controls is enabled. Uh, soon as you've done that, you go out of it. There's no rebooting or anything required. Uh, and what you'll notice is on your actual touchscreen um, display, the front of room touchscreen display, uh, it's now changed. Now you'll notice 
uh, not just do we have the calendar across here, which is usually the case, you only have the calendar, but when you have enabled the touchscreen uh, controls, you are then given all of these options across here. So everything that you'd be able to do from your touch console sitting in the middle of the table, now you can do directly from the touch screen. So let's have a, you know, spend a couple of minutes just quickly talking about what we have across here. Of course, right at the top, you have your meet button. Now, naturally, if you have meetings set up, um, for that room, they'll be displayed here and in the calendar, and then you'll have your one touch join. But if you wanted to do an ad hoc meeting, um, one that's not uh, actually inside of the calendar, you'd simply go ahead and hit that meet button. It will initiate the call, and then you can go ahead and add more people into that call. Uh, next one below, whiteboarding. Whiteboarding is amazing. And this is where the touchscreen capabilities really come to life, especially in kind of those small to medium sized rooms when you're using for collaboration. Uh, if you go ahead and you hit that whiteboard button, what it will do is it will uh, actually go ahead and open up Microsoft Whiteboard. Now, just take a couple of uh, seconds to load. Um, but when the Microsoft Whiteboard starts up, uh, the good thing about this is you can use it ad hoc. So there's no need for you to actually be in a call. So if you walk into a meeting room uh, and you're like, hey, let's start brainstorming, you can effectively hit that whiteboard button, select a pen, and then just start doodling across here. And then if you decide that, Let's bring some of the people in to collaborate. We have a very nifty start meeting button just down here. So you go ahead, you hit that start meeting button, you type in the credentials or, or the email address of who you want to bring into that meeting, and then they are part of that call as well as having access to the whiteboard um, across there as well. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to stop that whiteboard, and we'll probably do another session talking about whiteboard in a bit more detail afterwards. Okay, uh, next one below is share. So Sharing is pretty straightforward. If you plug in a laptop to your Teams Rooms device, you can obviously just share that content onto your uh, onto your MTR. Uh, and then if you are rocking the latest updates on MTR and Android, we now have the Join with Meeting ID button. So again, this is pretty much an ad hoc option. So if you do have a meeting ID, you simply go ahead, hit that meeting ID button, enter the credentials, and then hit the Join Meeting, and then that will let you go ahead and do that. And then, of course, just down here at the bottom, those uh, three dots that we saw on the touch console are now across here. Uh, and then, of course, you have access to the settings and, and, and the volume that we saw uh, earlier on as well. Um, when it comes down to the touch console that sits in the middle of the table, you can leave it if you want. And if you do, then it will still show up things like the calendar and you know uh, uh, meeting room buttons and options across there if you wanted to. Or you know if you really wanted the space, you can theoretically unplug it, take it out. Um, you know some some um, devices can be used as room um, uh, booking systems, so Teams panels that sit on the outside of the room. You could repurpose it for that, uh, or you can just move it away or get um, get rid of it or put it somewhere put it somewhere where it's safe uh, and just utilize the touch screen itself. Uh, but there you go, guys. If you are rocking a, a nice, large, shiny touch screen as your front of room display, uh, you can use that display to control your whole MTR experience. And then, of course, you can then go ahead and have some great decorations sitting in the middle of your table. As always, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment on the YouTube video. And if there's anything else that you want to see, make sure to let us know. I'll see you next week. Ciao.